Hey guys, what's up, and welcome to episode 11. So, as promised, we're going to continue on the Daedra quest, and we're going to continue a little bit fast. Uh, best, basically, what happened is I already started the quest. I did record the part where I started the quest. I had to go find a lion's hide, so I had to go find a mountain lion and kill it and bring its hide to here, the Molag Ball Shrine. So we are doing the quest of Molag Ball. Um, and I started the quest, but I had audio problems, and the, uh, the auto did not record. So... We're just going to start the episode here. You guys didn't miss much. I just, you know, talked to this guy. He had some stuff to say. But he, he gave me a cursed mace, which is, should be in my inventory. Here it is. Weighs a lot. But anyway, um, I have to give it to a guy and I guess make him kill me. I have to give it to Melis Petilius. So, uh, and apparently Malag Ball will save my life uh, if I get killed with a cursed mace. So... Anyway, I'm not exactly sure how we're supposed to provoke him to attack me, but, um... Whoa. The green arrow says go right here, but I think it's supposed to go in... What? Brindleholm? Am I supposed to wait here for him to come out or something? I don't know. Maybe I can walk around. I think this is a little village and there's a couple other guys walking around here, so... The green arrow is off, obviously a little bit off this time. But I have to find someone called Melis Pentilius, and I saw another house here in the distance. Maybe this is his house over here? I don't know. But anyway, I don't exactly know how we're supposed to give him the cursed mace, other than maybe pickpocketing him and putting it in his pocket, something like that, but... Harvest. Vipers, Bullgrass leaves. I do want to get 100 alchemy. This is the guy. Right here. I do want to get 100 alchemy, so I have to harvest all those, but... What's up, man? I would prefer you leave, friend. I would like to leave too, because I don't want you to die. I am Melis Petilius. Oh, his wife died? Poor guy. She was my wife. And I would rather not speak of her now. Well, you know, I'm I'm sorry to hear that. Uh I'm guessing what I gotta do is what, pickpocket him and put the mace in his pocket? I'm not sure. Why is the green arrow telling me to do it over there though? Let's see, let's read the quest. I should travel to Brindle Home and see what I can find. Okay, well, it did auto save there. So here we go. Pickpocket. I do have a decent sneak, not super high. I'm not trying to place items in a container, I'm trying to give him the cursed mace. Here, take it. Okay, we're gonna go outside. We're gonna go go to where the green arrow is. Maybe we can talk to some of the other people around here. Um, there's only three houses in this area, but maybe if we talk to someone else, we can see what we can do. Obviously, uh, I haven't done this quest for a long time, cannot remember how to do it, but, uh, I know in, S in Skyrim, at least, you can pickpocket guys and put stuff in their pockets if you want to. I guess you can't in this game. No one in this house. That's not going to be helpful. Let's just wait a couple hours. Maybe that'll help. Wait till 6 p.m.? Yeah, it's still just telling me to go here. Is there anyone in this house now? Nope, still no one. Alright, well I'm going to be back when I figure out what to do. Okay, so apparently between 10 a.m. and noon he goes and he looks at his his wife's grave. Poor guy. But anyway, I really don't want to kill this guy. He seems like a nice person. Or I don't want him to kill me. But you have to put the cursed mace on the ground between him and the grave. And then you have to attack him. Which I'm going to do barehanded just to make sure I don't kill him or anything. What's he doing? I would ask them. Why is he like on the ground and shaking? Maybe he's just he knows what's gonna happen. But anyway, apparently if you attack him he'll pick up the cursed mace. I have sworn not to raise a weapon in anger, but you have a Okay, pick up the mace. It's right there. Okay, he picked up his mace. Now kill me. Uh oh. This might take a while. I'm gonna take off my armor so it doesn't take years. Maybe I'm just too much of a beast. You can do it. Come on. Come on. This might take a while. Look, I have barely any health. Like, even goblins and stuff can take me out quite easily. Why can't you? I don't know. He must have, like, zero stats and must be just using the mace alone to kill me. It only has four damage, so it's going to take a while. But anyway... I, w I don't know what's going to happen when he kills me with the mace. Probably something awful. 
And if you remember the uh, Molag Ball quest in Skyrim, that quest was a little bit creepy. But anyway, <laughs> I'm not going to go into that. This is Oblivion, not Skyrim. Come on, I'm almost dead. You can do it. For someone that said he, you know, was against violence, he's sure pretty gung-ho about it. Oh, I died. Hopefully I don't lose any stuff or anything. I've goaded Melee's Pelletus and attacking me with Cursed Mace. Okay, now what? Do I just talk to him? It seems you've accomplished the task set out for you. Well done. Another man damned. Another ruined soul. But you'll still get your prize, won't you? I think it was worth it, don't you? Keep up the good work, little mortal. He's pleased that I was able to corrupt the paladin. He has rewarded me with the mace of Molag Ball. So it is the exact same reward that you get in Skyrim. Obviously, um, I'm not going to be using this mace. I don't think it's that great. Let's see the enchantments. Absorb Strength, Absorb Magicka. So it only gives 5 base damage, which isn't great. And Absorb Strength and Magicka, that's, those aren't necessarily amazing enchantments or anything. But, man, you still got to do it. Anyway, so it's time to move on to Clavicus File. And I know for a fact what reward he gives you. And I think it's pretty good. He gives you the Mask Clav Clavicus File. Um, and as long as it has some pretty good enchantments on it, I will use it, other than the Daedric Helm I'm currently using. So he only needs 500 gold? Wow, this guy's pretty easy. A mortal. Wonderful. Always a pleasure. Not Guy. Perhaps Sorry. Service for me, mortal, and I'll reward you. A fair bargain, don't you think? You will retrieve for me a sword. A very special sword. I know what sword it is. The, sword of Umbra. the Umbra Sword. <laughs> Bring the sword to me, and I'll reward you with my mask. You'll not find a better bargain, mortal. Begin your search in Hell's Gate. The funny thing is that the mask that he gives you, well, the sword that you could, you can't actually just keep the Ember Sword, but it is way better than the mask that he gives you. Um, so I don't know if I actually have to go to Pell's Gate, because I know where the sword is. It's in this dungeon right here, but, uh, we'll just go with the quest. This is a full walkthrough. I believe... Uh, hey, pay attention. In your hack, the dog, I swear, you heroes aren't particularly quick on the uptake. And, uh-oh. <laughs> I'm Bart, the Hound of Hankisbart. Not that I want to be the Hound always been called Bart. I've also been the Red Guard. For a while, I was a scamp, making deals with orcs. But for now, I am his hound, and I serve the Lord of Christ. A word of advice here. You've made a bad deal. This humble, bad business. The things always end badly where that one's concerned. Uh oh, I guess by opening that menu I stopped the dog from talking. I'm sorry. But, um, I think what the dog says, I'm not 100% sure, I can't quite remember, but I think... Oh, here it is. He tells me that returning the Ember Sword to Clavis Vial is a mistake, likely to cause great ruin to Vial's domain. Okay, so, I'm sorry I cut off the conversation. I did not mean to. I didn't know the opening... The, uh, the loot menu would do that, but here is a Storm Atronach. They are pretty difficult to kill. Um, you can summon a Storm Atronach yourself. Um, you have to be at pretty high level to actually find the spell, I believe. But anyway, they are challenging. Um, I cleaned that one up pretty easily with the help of my Wraith, but uh, I believe you have the option to keep the sword. I know you can just not finish the quest and keep the sword, but I believe there is a way to keep the sword and also finish the quest. I can't remember though. Um, but if I can't figure it out, then I'll just turn it in the sword and get the mask because the Ember Sword is a little bit overpowered, let's be honest. And, um, you know, I already have some pretty good weapons and armor. I don't think I really need it. So we're going to continue over to. Where are we going? Pell's Gate. And uh, see what there is to see there. Even though I could just go into the Vin Diesel dungeon. I, it's not the Vin Diesel dungeon, but it, it sounds like Vin Diesel. I'm pretty sure they did that on purpose. It's like Vin Dassel or something, but 
yeah, it looks like Vin Diesel, so we're just going to call it the Vin Diesel Dungeon um, and kill Umbra, which is not going to be a, that easy of a fight. Don't underestimate Umbra. Um, I remember I killed her on the lowest difficulty possible once, and I still uh, really struggled quite a bit, so hopefully we'll kill her. Let's see. Um, if I have enough Majika to use the Paralyzed spell, no, I don't. 499 Majika, that's crazy. Um, if I could use the Paralyzed spell, which I can't, but if I could, um, I would be able to dispatch of her much easier. Welcome to Pell's Gate. We are a small community. I'm here about the Umbra. Umbra? You need... Aroki the Wide? Huh. I guess what... I wonder what body type he has. <laughs> Oh, he's not that fat. Welcome to Pell's Gate. That's kind of rude. I, I know. You're a stranger Very to me? Quick. Will a little gold For me? help? Umbra. That's a name I haven't heard in a while. And it's not... Uh, before I go on, let's clear something up. Are you here asking about the sword or the person? The sword, definitely. It's a powerful sword. No doubt about that. Jet black. Got a wicked edge on it. And they say it can steal a man's soul. That's the best part of the Umbra. It's a really easy I way to fill your soul gems because it has soul trap soul. on it. Lenwin. She's the one who found the blasted thing. Who is Umbra? I can tell you who Umbra used to be. Lenwin. She's my apprentice, or at least she was, until she found that soul. Never did say where it came from. She just showed up with it one day. Said it was called Umbra. Pretty sure it's Umbra, not Umbra. Oops. Finally signed on with some mercenaries. Skipped that part by accident. That ended too. We haven't seen her in years. I know where she is. Can't say for sure. Some say they've seen her nearby, near the Vindassel ruins. Oh, Vindassel. Might just be wishful thinking, though. I thought it was Van. I don't if know how to pronounce around, it. She hasn't come into Pell's Gate, nor should she. I fear that girl is long gone. If you seek her out, take care. She's a powerful one. Or at least that sword is. I'd steer clear if I was you. I think I can handle it. There's always a surefire way to kill any enemy, no matter how tough. And I will... Depending on how difficult Umbra is to kill, I will be showing you that method here. It's actually, it's it's nothing secret. I mean, you pretty much just use the old uh, run around the room, pelting them with arrows. <laughs> but that's probably what I'll have to do. And, of course, with the help of my Fader Wraith, I might even bust out the Gloom Wraith. Uh, it costs a lot more Magicka, but I don't know how much more powerful it is. I could do a Lich for 20 seconds or a Gloom Wraith for 25. Let's try out the Gloom Wraith, because I, I have tried out the Lich before, and I wasn't that impressed. Actually, I don't... Well... I was more not impressed with the AI in this game than the Lich itself, because what happened is, um, the Lich just flat out wouldn't attack stuff. He kind of just, you know, floated around and, you know, existed. I have contracted brain rot, really, from a rat? My strength... That is so lame. He's drained my strength. He drained my strength five points from a rat. That's the most dangerous rat I've ever seen. I'm going the right way, am I? Yep. Okay, this is a very small dungeon, so I probably... That wasn't even necessary. But this room does have a trap in it. Oh, this mud crab is already dead. This room will spray you with gas. So just keep that in mind, although it's not very dangerous. Gas killed the rat, I guess. But Umbra isn't aggressive, so you can just not even worry about it. Just go straight into the dungeon. She won't attack you or anything. And we're going to have to kill her, though. It's going to be a difficult fight. I'm not sure if this is going to be as difficult as um, the most difficult fight I've ever had, which was in the part of the video which I tried to record earlier, I believe. Or maybe I said it in the last video, but anyway. Howling Cave. Holy crap. That one. I died like five times trying to beat that dungeon. It was pretty fun. I, I was getting really frustrated, I won't lie to you, but uh, eventually I did, in fact beat it. But anyway, yeah, we are going to try out the Gloom Wraith, so we're going to have to do the old run around the room, shoot her with arrows, try not to get hit, that sort of thing. So here's Umbra. Sup, girl? I want your sword. You risk much by speaking to me. You should leave this place. Now. 
you should get owned. Umbra is my... For years I have fed my blade the souls... I have seen the... Yeah, 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 that's not important. Do not speak to me of that place. Perhaps they sent you to kill me. No matter. I am what I've become, and I know my fate. But what of you? What is it you seek? My death? My blade? I offer you a choice. More than I have offered most. Stay here and die. Or leave now and live your life. Speak to me again when... I, I think I'm gonna own you. You're out, friend. Leave it alone. How about we just march on back to the shrine and tell Platicus the deal is off? Sure, he'll be a bit put off, but you won't be dead. At least, you probably won't. That's better off than you're getting here. So yeah, this is the option you have. Um, I think the dog's finished talking. It's really hard to hear him because my volume's so low. So, uh, what you can do here, if you'd like, is you can go back to Clavicus' file. You can tell him that Umbra isn't around, or something like that. I don't remember what you say. I have done this before in a playthrough. But you can go back to Clavicus' file. Um, you can tell him that Umbra, you know, isn't there anymore. Um, you will not get the mask of Clavicus file, so if you want to collect all the Daedric artifacts, you don't want to go down this road. But if you do that, you can come back, uh, you can kill Umbra, and you can take her sword. So, the choice is really up to you. If you want the Umbra sword, and it's not that important to you to collect all the Daedric artifacts, um, yeah, you can go for it. But it's it's really just if you want the Umbra sword more than you want the mask of Clavicus file. To be completely honest, it's tempting because the soul trap on the Umbra is so useful, um, especially late game. Like later game, I'm going to be using uh, an enchanted bow and arrow, and you know, enchanted swords, weapons as well. So I'm going to really need soul gems. So I'm going to need some kind of soul trap. Uh, I might just enchant some other weapon with soul trap though, because I just want to get all the Daedric artifacts and really complete the quest the right way. But, you know, if you want to, you can always just uh, not kill her, come back and kill her later, and get the Ember Sword. But anyway, let's begin the fight, shall we? So yeah, as you can see, I just sneak attacked her and did basically zero damage. And uh, it's lagging a bit. Hopefully the video is not lagging. I ha really haven't had any lag problems at all. Um, but looks like this Gloom Wraith is pretty beefy, so... And I'm not very accurate. And she can't actually kill the Gloom Race because she has an enchanted weapon, so... Please don't hit Kill me. <laughs> She's gonna kill me, isn't she? Uh-oh. She's like half dead already. This Gloom Wraith is pretty beefy. If I, I wish I had more Magicka. Um, one thing I could do, I guess, is like... Go to my, my spell crate and just make the Gloom Wraith last longer. Uh-oh. Heal up time. Heal up. Heal up. Heal up. Run. Run, heal up. Oops. She's a bit faster than I anticipated. A lot of monsters you can just run around and they'll never hit you. Summon that. Light armor increase. So I do have healing potions, so I'm fine. But anyway. Uh oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in a corner. Run. Please go attack my wraith instead of me. I'm innocent. But she also does have pretty good armor, so that can affect how difficult she is to kill as well. Uh, I kind of want to, kind of want this Umbra sword, but I know I can't have it. But anyway, so we pick up the Umbra. So I can either. I'm telling you, don't bring that sword back to Clavicus. It'll ruin him, I'm sure. I mean, not completely. He's still a deep prince. I am, in fact, gonna bring back the sword to Clavicus. So Umbra has a whole bunch of unique gear. Um, it's just ebony. It's the only difference between this. Keep the sword if you want. That's your decision. But do give it back to Clavicus. He doesn't know what's good for him sometimes. But anyway, if that dog would stop interrupting me, that would be really nice. But um, you can, you know, pick up this armor if you want. It's just regular old ebony. The only difference between that and regular ebony is it says Umbra's ebony, you know, gauntlets or whatever, instead of just ebony gauntlets. So, yep, that's about it. But it weighs way too much, so I'm not going to do that. A few soul gems here. You know, again, I am tempted to keep the Umbra, but uh, as far as I know, there is no way to keep the Umbra and also get the Mask of Clavicus file. So, you know, because of that, 
I'm not going to. And I, I thought there was another chest around here somewhere. Guess not. But anyway, that chest is, I believe it's a boss chest. Uh, there are boss chests in this game. They're always rectangular looking like that one is. Um, and the only difference between a boss chest and a regular chest is a boss chest just uh, it has several items in it. It usually has like between five, ten items in it, and it has a higher chance for like enchanted stuff. Um, so that's useful. Anyway, we're just going to return to Clavicus Vile. I'm not even going to bother pausing the video because this is a tiny dungeon. It's not going to be very hard to run out of. But anyway, continue spamming the uh, minor life detection because I want to be training my mysticism. Uh, I want to max that out. Even though it's not a major skill, uh, mysticism does have some spells at higher levels that are pretty useful that I'd like to be able to use. Um, obviously, I can't use a lot of spells because like my destruction is um, only at 50... 51 or something like that. My restoration is below 50, so I can't use any decent restoration spells. Um, my illusion is like 21 or something, so I can't use any good illusion spells. So I do need to train up my uh, my magicness a little bit. So we're going to turn this in and get the Mask of Clavicus file, even though Barnabas is asking us not to, just because I want that mask, you. Alright, I'm going to shut up and turn it in. You've brought the sword. Yes, I have. Give it to me. As we agreed, Umbra and I have unfinished business. But as you can see, the dog is no longer there. Excellent. A pitiful sword with a pitiful soul in exchange for a mask fit for a god. You've gotten the better of this bargain, mortal. No, I haven't. The Umbra is now way better than your stupid mask. Run along. Perhaps I'll be looking for you again. I have been awarded the Mask of Lovk's file. Oh well, been good knowing you, kid. Back to being his hound for me. As for you, good luck, I guess. I've met with us. Okay, so I'm over-encumbered now because this helm must be pretty heavy. Or it must have been really close to being over-encumbered anyway. It's only 15 pounds, so wow. But, um, it fortifies personality 20 points on self. Uh, that's really lame. But, it does seem to have the exact same defense as a Daedra Kelm, so it looks kind of baller. Look at that face. Would you mess with that face? Eh? No, not really. Probably not. But I believe a Daedra Kelm does have better defense than this. Uh, it just depends on your uh, heavy armor skill. So, if my heavy armor skill was a bit higher, I believe the Daedra Kelm would be, you have 5 defense and this would give 4. So, um... I'm going to stick with the Daedric Helm just because the Daedric Helm is lighter, and it also looks kind of sick. But anyway, uh, I think I'm going to end off the episode here. So we got a couple Daedric quests done. We got the Mace of Molag Ball and the Mask of Clavicus Files. So I'm going to be storing all this stuff in some kind of chest uh, in my home. And yeah, that should be awesome. So anyway, see you later, guys. Until episode 12, we will meet again.